He also said take up some kind of practice like Tai Chi or meditation. Obviously when you're moving, you're adding a movement to your relaxation. And, oh yes, that is a, um, a clock for hypnosis for some reason under the meditation side. That's what we've got for enrich. Then we've got practice. Um, do you want to speak about that practice? Yeah. Because I don't get the drawing. Again, oh, right, I'll point you to this side. Yes, it talks about setting up, um, creating some kind of commitment. In fact, it's quite curious looking at the links between the two groups and talking about time management and to-do lists. One of the things that's suggested is at the top of each day's to-do list is a commitment to do some photo reading. Um, it talked about setting up some buddies um, and that is a ban on any kind of beating up. That's a great thing. <laughs> <laughs> it depends what, but if you're in 50 shades, you might eat the whip. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, if you get me to eat that, I'm, 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 I'm open to all ideas. Um, this isn't some kind of strange um, plant. In fact, in fact, it's a bed and a bedside lamp and the notepad ready to um, note down your dreams so that um, to actually start making use of your dreams and begin to recognise what's in the dreams is part of what was recommended to sort of enrich the uh, whole lot. Um, I'm going to spend my life being scared of my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Does it make you dream more? It can do, a lot of the time, yeah. And if you put the intention in that, then it's amazing. Ooh. A couple of things that we were talking about was like the, the visualising, the um, the practice in your your vision your, your vision and the aspects of your like your spatial awareness what's happening around you your peripheral vision and a lot of it was talking about the soft gaze and just relax when you're looking at stuff as you were saying about reading in the, in the soft light so when you first start reading the book do it in soft light just to get your brain used to you know having to just focus on not being strained on any bright lights and maybe and you had a good analogy about a car didn't you yeah that that is a car one of the exercises suggested was actually not just practicing going into proof of vision while you're walking around and trying to mow down all the Londoners. Um, but, sorry, that, that was what you said, wasn't it? Um, but, but, but actually um, becoming aware as you're driving, not just of what's in front of you, but also looking, say, at the billboards on either side as you're going past them and um, recognising what's in them and becoming aware of the cars around you, so I'm going to think there's things that are good for driving as well as the looking at the billboards, which is probably not quite so um, productive. Um, it talks about um, listening to the subliminal CDs on the uh, headphones, and we talked a while about whether this was a form of hypnosis or not. Which it isn't, apparently. Well, well yeah. could it finish the year, actually, for that one? Yeah, oh, yeah, hey. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Um, it talks about um, practicing, sorry, that, that, that's something <laughs> exercising, <laughs> and actually exercising, looking um, frequently at both the small and the big, so that's your microscope and your trees in the distance, um, because they're my drawings and hey, I'm not on it. <laughs> <laughs> so when you exercise, you should, like I always keep quite a soft focus, but you should change your vision between here and far away. Yeah, I, I'm quite certain that when I started using computer screens on a very regular basis and being stuck in an office all day long, my, my eyesight got remarkably worse because I had spent eight or ten or twelve hours a day looking at something that size in front of me. And um, I've had other things done to my eyes. Actually, if I take my glasses off, or took my glasses off, and walk through somewhere where I was actually looking in the distance, you found that your eyesight had changed, but it wasn't changing as fast. So this, well, this wasn't covered in there. I think I get what they're talking about. They're talking about the need not just to stay focused in one plane, but to actually get used to your eyes exercising, actually moving the muscles yeah. backwards and <coughs> forwards, if you look at um, uh, Alice Huxley, The Art of Seeing. Yes, yeah, and Feldenkrais. Yeah. And yeah. some of those exercises are fairly... But also you go or Tai Chi, you do this exercise following the fingers, you just yes. try to focus close and focus far, yeah. to and maintain a healthy... That's very much what it was actually specifically saying, rather than that's actually a tangent, but um, yes, I think it's the whole picture of, of 
specifically exercising your eyes. There's a, there's a sort of paragraph on ma making them work just as you know, just as you go go for a run or a walk or whatever. Actually, doing something specific to exercise them. Um, can I ask? What, what, can you just clarify what it meant? You said mentioned lighting. So does that mean it's best to like read by candles or? No, I think. Well, I think what he was getting at was when you first start to learn. Because you, you 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 can't get into the zone that quickly, can you? Because you're you're still a beginner. You start in the soft light. So just have okay. like a, like this lighting is perfectly fine. But you're not going to sit outside in the bright sunlight trying to you know kill yourself. Okay, yeah. Or don't sit in front of the TV looking because you're just going to kill your eyes anyway. But just have like a nice soft light, relaxed light, just so you can get used to just getting used to that, to that gaze. It's like but a romantic think, setting. Type. Yeah. No, I think I think it's <laughs> romantic <laughs> setting. <laughs> No, I mean, in fact, saying soft and warm. Yeah, and I mean, that, that's a harsh, you know, daylight blue. And, and I, yeah. when I hear warm, I'm thinking of the old fashioned yellowy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. Um, you can see now the light bulb specification. I was working in this. So you can see the light, uh, uh, light specification, which is more blue, and which is uh, like uh, white, blue, cold light, and going to the yellow phases. Yeah. Yeah. Warm light, they call it. Yes. And also, what I know, in order to feel good, in offices, we should have 500 lumens on the table, but we don't really. And that's why we feel kind of green when we work inside the buildings. But at home, if it's a bit softer light, then you can get away with less amount of light per area. Well, there you go. Yeah. But if you want to know, <laughs> call me. <laughs> it's, a, it's a huge thing because then it affects our psyche, yeah. uh, how, how the yeah. light is. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm quite yeah. certain about that, yes. Yeah. I, I'm spending more time in the daylight and I'm uh, mm -hmm. happy a little bit. But if at home you have 500 lumens, which is the amount of light that falls on the square meter, it's uh, you'll feel like when you're in daylight. Because it, it produces the state of alertness. That would be my next birthday cake then. It's the daylight. Yeah. Yes. So like the sun. And uh, finally, using your whole mind, so like what we did um, out in the foyer or out there, um, when we play the past game, try different, you know, you can use music, um, kinesthetic, the intrapersonal, um, the interpersonal, talking to other people. Just try different things um, to kind of get it, uh, embed the things more. Um, and I suppose play around so that you know what works for you. One of the things that I remember about, um, about, the, uh, about ex expanding your awareness and your vision was um, Say that I read that Bruce Lee said, although he had terrible eyesight, he had really bad eyesight, but he could still expand his awareness. And he would sit in a restaurant, just have like a bottle of soup, whatever, and he'd just sit there and he'd watch people just outside of his, his, yeah, his field of vision. And every time they took a bite, he would just move a finger, tap his, 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 his leg to build that, that kinetic feeling towards what's happening around him. That's one of his why he was so fast, because he, he could kind of almost see you doing the action as you were performing it. Because he brought that kinesthetic um, touch to what you can see, moulding the two together. Interesting. Well, thank you very much. We should frame them. They're going down well with a tape, I'm sure. I'm on the wires. Steps and making sure you relax. 
then yeah, you should be doing it right. And the other one was, how quickly can you learn it? And there is actually a anagram, is it? Uh, it's a mnemonic. Was, yeah. um, what you notice through feeling is how you're actually feeling it in your, if you're in that right state of mind. Um, to own your experience, um, play with your experience, and actually keep at it and stay with it. Um, and also it's kind of how much practice. If you don't do it, then obviously you're not going to develop it. So just keep practicing at it. Okay, um, I did this upside down, so <laughs> I'm led to the wrong way around. Uh, it's, is it, do we just use the conscious mind? And then it was the intelligences, um, the linguistic, mathematical, musical, spatial, kinesthetic, interpersonal, interpersonal and naturalist, which is what you were saying in the last, in the, uh, it's enriching it. It's how to use all the different possibilities to to enrich your experience and to just not just use the conscious mind, I'm going to do, follow the plan, but to, to play with what's possible. Um, and then how long does it take to learn? Uh, Rome wasn't built in a day, just relax, relax, one, three, two, one, relax, relax. <laughs> keep the state and see the page. Sure. And just to take it from there, so you, how long will it take? You will have to build it up for unconscious incompetence when you feel happy because you don't know what you don't know and so life is still okay <laughs> then you have unconscious incompetence when you meet some people that know and they're like oh you have this kind of face <laughs> don't relax the gaze <laughs> and then you have conscious competence when you kind of feel in a good place again and then the excellence um, and what you can also ask yourself like is it for me and then, like, if you step, if you follow the step, it's just it's for everyone, and that I will just use this muscle. <laughs> we use it so we don't lose it. So then it's like the the common question when our also our brains were kind of eating us at us the last days. Will I get the right amount of detail? And uh, what I said that it comes in layers. So if you say not so smiley face, a bit of smiles, and then you're really proficient. And then you, act, you have to activate um, um, the, the, the same amount of information at different times with perhaps different purposes in mind in order to subtract different parts of information. And also hold your, um, I said intuition, I think my mind was talking to me, I wanted to say hold your intention. So really, really have, know what you want. And what I didn't say is like it's very important what you talk to your um, inner mind or subconscious mind. like ask your subconscious mind to, to access the information that you need to make it readily available, to make it jump at you, make it sexy, make it colorful, and um, just to, to trust the process that it will happen, but without questioning, without fear, without... What I've learned lately, when, when we divide our attention between what we want and what we don't want, we kind of divide our, our purpose. So of course we don't get what we want because we just put in there like 30% because the rest was fear. So you get what you focus more on, and um, yeah. So this is intention. Yeah. Fantastic! Thank you very much. Thanks <laughs> 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 for reading those chapters. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>